What is the 5599 market? The 5599 market, that's a great question. When High Speed Rail was doing so much construction in the area and building the Tulare overpass, they had to shut down G Street basically. So the front of my store just became like a big cul-de-sac and out came the idea, well, let's put on an event. So let's get some food trucks here and vendors. This is a free event, free parking, free entry, and just experience the, this is Chinatown. Look at our architecture, look at our history, learn about it. There's all types of food, you know, from all different cultures from Asia. It's not fads, but what's a big hit right these days is the Korean corn dogs, that's for sure. I think one of our more popular ones is um, Laos or type of Southeast Asian, like skewers meat on a stick. Uh, we have our Hawaiian barbecue, and uh, but we constantly rotate and bring in new vendors. Some of them, it's their favorite event. They look forward to it. But just, you know, in Chinatown, it's, you know, we have no real corporate stuff there. There's no Starbucks or McDonald's, and it's a lot of just local, real 559 people just trying to showcase their stuff, make a living, you know, show off their hobbies. So for all the good reasons, having those vendors are it's been great. Ever since the very first one, uh, K-pop was a big part of it. Uh, I think there's a lot of just popularity in K-pop and the you know choreographed dancing and synchronized dancing. And it it's definitely brings the youth. And investing in the youth is always one of my mottos of you know how how things over time they'll remember like, oh, when I was a kid, I was there. And you know, those are the stories that, you know, they might not be, you know, cause they're probably still getting dropped off by their parents. But uh, when they become adults, I really want them to be 10 years later, be like, wow, this was so cool. I remember coming to Chinatown and coming to this event. And you know, I guess a lot of Asian people, they don't have a place to go to. And if they can look forward to this once a month and we can bring thousands of people into Chinatown uh, and get businesses up participating. It kind of checks off all the boxes of just trying to do something good for the community. You know, and no Chinatown business ever gets charged. They're just here to enjoy. You know, their happiness is my happiness. I, I find it the most self-rewarding when businesses in Chinatown thank me for doing this. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's not a profitable event. I hope to see things grow and expand. Like right now, with some funding, Chinatown is getting new trees, pedestrian lights. The China Alley is getting repaved with pavers right now. You know, I'm trying to hear what the future has in store for Chinatown and with High Speed Rail coming and they're talking to me about activation and what can we do to activate this area before the you know, train comes. Keep on expanding and especially where there's businesses try to create an event, everyone to uh, benefit from it. And the more people I can benefit, the more people that can participate in Chinatown is the goal and to help these Chinatown businesses survive and thrive. You know, they realize that we've been doing some really good things in Chinatown, so um, just looking to grow it and make it better and better and better.